Hey, what's up everyone? Another live stream here in Miami. It's Wednesday, April 20th, 2022, about 2.30 p.m. and it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 Celsius. I'm in Miami's oldest neighborhood, Coconut Grove. And I know this is much requested because in my past live streams, people are asking me to come visit here. And even though I've been here last year, I need to come here again. So here I am in Coconut Grove. At the intersection of Grand Avenue and Commodore Place. This neighborhood is so cool. There's like so much old architecture here and amazing restaurants. I just uh, ate at a restaurant just down here. I'll show you. I made a video for my Action Kid Extra channel. So whenever I get that food review up, I'll put it up. But uh, I'll definitely be coming back to this neighborhood to try some more restaurants out. It's so cool. Here's a Thai restaurant I didn't eat here. It's kind of like on the edge of this main strip here. And then things start quieting down after this, but it's right here, Minty Z. This is a vegan restaurant and it had some of the best food I've ever had. Rather, um, whether if it's traditional or vegan. Dutchman says the live stream from Tom from Walks and Wall Street was awesome last night. Oh yes, I did meet up with him after my live stream uh, ended and we spent quite a bit of time together. This neighborhood was established in 1873. The business district is up ahead, as well as Peacock Park. Yes, yeah, Sarge Tech says 110% uh, vegan. I made a reference to that in my um, video review. I said, how can it be more than 100% vegan? Michael Long, we recommend Planta Queen for vegan awesomeness. I'll have to uh, check that out as well. I'm not vegan, but I do try to eat healthy. And I find that vegan food has a lot of healthy options. For dog, you uh, enjoyed the live stream last night and I'm glad you did. Here's a public parking lot. I want to know because uh, now that I own a car, I wonder how easy it is to park in one of these parking lots. Are there any spaces left? And uh, if so, how much does it cost? Well, I kind of know how much it costs because I saw a sign before I walked here. It says it starts at $5 um, per hour. Oh, look, they, looks like they have another section down there for parking. I think I eye a couple of spots down there. Yeah, there's one over there on the corner. So.
You can also pay by phone. I do have this app installed on my phone. Uh, you can put in the number of Can I continue without an account? I've never used this app before. I have it installed because I know that um, this app is frequently used here in Miami. 18260, search. How much is parking? Vehicle information needed. Come on. You gotta go through all this just to find out the rate for the parking. All right, forget that. But you can park here for however much it costs. Oh, they have the parking rates there on the booth. Let's see, uh, parking rates, first hour, is five dollars from Monday to Thursday which is now each additional hour is two dollars and the daily max is 25 and uh, Friday to Sunday each additional hour is five dollars that gets pricey Wow well a uh, good thing I took my scooter here because I'll be paying at least like seven dollars just to park here as well as the uh, cost of gas So I saved a bit of money and uh, gas uh, downtime filling up at the gas station by taking my scooter here. Zoe Chilt says, welcome to the Gables. No, this is not the Gables. This is Coconut Grove. Coral Gables is a little bit further um, up to the north, to the northwest rather. Pedestrian only street, Fuller. Rush Tech says more money for fun or uh, more money for a delicious lunch that I just had. I'd rather spend more money on food rather than parking or gasoline. <laughs> I like how this business has a sign in the front here. It says, not the door. Push the open. If that does not work, pull. If both do not work, try the actual entrance to your right. And it's over here. Oh, we got a mute classic rock. I don't want to be the boy back in town getting a copyright notice because that's already happened to this channel. Yvette says, everyone in the chat watching from Make it tune in, Yvette. And here is the peacock. I know there's a peacock park where we'll be seeing some actual birds there. But in the meantime, there's a peacock mural right on the side of this building. Fireman Derek's Bake Shop. I've seen this before in Wynwood. They're probably pretty good.
Varsol by Akashi, another Asian restaurant. It looks Japanese from the front. The Sandbar Grill, home of the fish taco. Let's see their menu. You know, they have a large menu. Everything from salads to soups to the main entrees. It's not even in English. Looks like it's in French. To get the English, you have to read the uh, fine print on the bottom. I'd like to try this place sometime too. There's so many great restaurants here in South Florida. I didn't really have my hopes up for the food here in South Florida before I moved. But I've been pleasantly surprised at what I've been sampling and trying out. But the Miami area has some excellent food. It may not be as diverse as New York City, but the food options that are here, they're delicious. You can get Mexican here, El Taquito. This must be the main area of the uh, Coconut Grove. Sophia C, you bet there's no need to cook dinner on any given night you could eat out. Yeah, that's true. You don't really need to cook uh, dinner here. Although if you don't watch your wallet, you could be spending a lot of money on dinner as well. Usually cooking is a little bit more budget conscious if you know what you're cooking and um, how's the budget. So this is the Coco Walk. I kind of remember I was here last year. There was like a, uh, a outdoor mall. This is pretty. Sonia says coconut tiger. Yep. Poor dog says, we know you love to cook hummus and yogurt. Yeah, don't uh, take that recipe seriously, unless it's April Fool's, and you can. The Key Club. This area over here is the main Coco Walk entrance. Outdoor shopping mall. They've got the tiger in the front. And uh, Michael Luong recommended the Planta Queen vegan restaurant, and it's right here. I was wondering where it was, and I found it. I didn't even need to search for it on my, uh, on my phone.
I think this man is busy cleaning up the fountain, getting rid of all the leaves and the coins. Miriam, your family used to take us as kids there 30 something years ago. Has it changed since uh, you were last here? Look at this, here's another sushi restaurant. Seems that Asian food is pretty big around here. I saw a uh, Thai restaurant, another Japanese restaurant, an Asian fusion, and now another sushi place. So there's three levels to this shopping complex. The Wow Center. Waymans of Miami. Or Humans. I can see this area being uh, pretty popular on weekend nights. Oh, Miriam, it was an outdoor mall back then, too. Richard says, am I going for a nature walk to the Everglades to check out alligators? Yeah, eventually I'll head out there to the Everglades. I'm really impressed with how open and spacious this Coco Walk is. It's a waterfall too. I think this is a chain, the Spot Barbershop. I've seen them before. Damars Cologne, $4.99. After the good lunch, have a good coffee. That's what I would do. Never been in Coconut Grove. Thanks for the walk, watching. Thanks Damars, appreciate the support. Yeah, this must be a chain. What's up? Shoe store and uh, ooh, School of Rock. I wonder if this is the same School of Rock I saw performing in uh, Coral Gables at that uh, festival I was at the first the first um, weekend I was here in the Miami area. V says I should do Key West content and document the entire trip. I think I'll get there eventually. I'm getting uh, so many requests to go places that it's really impossible to fulfill all of them within the first month that I've been here. 
I don't think it's possible at all, actually. Especially people who tell me to go like overseas aren't even in this geographic region. Is this tree turning colors? I didn't know trees turn colors in uh, South Florida, like orange and yellow from a solid green. Interesting. Kind of looks like it's turning colors, right? I see some some orange and yellow in there. So according to Sarge Tech, this uh, cinema is a Mexican chain. Sinopolis, luxury cinemas. These seats, they look very comfortable. All right, now I know, I learned something. This species of tree here, it turns colors. Danny says, I could have sworn I've seen videos of me on Key West on a bus. That's because, um, that's because I have. <coughs> says I have. Sorry, I uh, got something stuck in my throat there. I did a last year. I took a tour bus out to Key West and I explored the, uh, the island. And I think there's a gym on the top floor. They even have like picnic tables out for people to sit on. Bugging out 23 says it's a cool people watching spot. I have to agree with you. Here and watch people hang out and see them walk past.
Wonder what kind of food Mr. O1 serves. Let's head over to the Peacock Park. I think I'll be interested in seeing that. Salt and Straw is here. This is a ice cream place that I've tried in Wynwood. It was really good. get some custom salads here at Sweet Green. What are they? Coconut Village. I think Coconut Village is the name of this building. There's the uh, Coconut Grove Visitor Center across the street. There's also an art gallery and the FedEx office. Photos from around New York says Sweet Queen. Imagine they have to source the food from different farms in Florida compared to the ones in New York. Yeah, you might be right on that. Ali says, how am I getting around in Miami? Uh, whichever way is the most convenient. Today I took my scooter, but I've been also driving. I've been walking around, taking public transportation. I'm assuming that this area here is hard to park. And if you do find a parking spot in a garage or a lot, the rates are pretty high. Kawa Kev says, I'm wearing a helmet walking in Miami, so cute. Place to put it. I could put it in my backpack, but it'll be awkward on my back. It's just easier to wear it since I roll my scooter here. And I could take it off, but then it'll be hard to operate my stabilizer along with my phone.
Storm Z saying, is the life less stressful in Miami than in New York City? Well, I have to say that's more like an individual question rather than something that applies to everybody who lives in Miami because I've talked to people here whose lives are very stressful. They ver work very hard and don't get as much as in to the same amount of people too in New York City where it's like that. For me, I'd say I have the same amount of stress in New York City compared to here. Although right now I'm feeling maybe a little bit more stressed than usual because I do need to set up and I'm still in the process of moving into my new place. But other than that, it seems like it's pretty much the same. I'm generally a optimistic person, but also a realist as well. I do believe that your actions in life do determine the amount of stress you're going to have. So I think Peacock Park is right around the corner here by the water. line of hardware and software that I use. Yes, I have it in the video description. You can go and check them out. I have links to pretty much all the equipment that I use. Although I am in the process of setting up a new desktop computer in Miami, so I'm upgrading my computer equipment as well. Where is Peacock Park? I think it's over to the right, or maybe across the street from me. I think I'll walk over to the next traffic light and then cross over the street. That will probably be the best course of action. The Mutiny Hotel. Looks like it has that old Spanish architecture. They also have a restaurant here called the Table 14.
historic point of interest, the Housekeepers Women's Club of Coconut Grove. The first clubhouse was erected on land donated by Ralph Monroe in 1917. Very cool. Thank you, Laurie, for the $10. Greetings, AK. Great to see you today and sending some help towards lunch or a cold drink. I recall your visit to Key West and also hope you may go back to explore when you can. Many thanks. Thanks, Laurie. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. So this must be the clubhouse right here. either this building here or the one behind it. And there is a pedestrian crossing here, so this seems like the best place for me to cross over. See if any of these drivers stop for me. These better stop. I wonder if these trees are growing coconuts. I have to find a coconut in Coconut Grove. I like the view from here. Let me snap a picture. Jose said those are royal palms. I guess we won't find any coconuts on them then. Roxanne Robles with a 999 super chat. Thank you, Roxanne. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Sonia says there's a treasure under the palms. Hmm. I guess we're allowed to walk over there. I didn't get the I didn't get a chance to visit this area when I was here last year. Laurie says that you bring your bike or e-scooter today. I uh, took my e-scooter here. Hence why I'm wearing my helmet.
gorgeous just hearing those trees rustle in the wind. This is such a tranquil place. X asked if the humidity has picked up in South Florida yet. No, not yet. It's still relatively low humidity. Make the time to love saying the water is really beautiful. It's so nice, right? From this angle, it looks great too. Everything here is really pretty. X is asking if I've ever done a vlog from the water yet. I've uh, done videos from a boat before, but not in this trip. So Peacock Park, huh? I wonder if we'll find any peacocks here. Do they live in Peacock Park?
I would think that the odds of finding a chicken here are higher than a peacock. Well, we didn't find a bird. We did find a squirrel up here on the ledge. Squirrels looking at me like I've got three heads. What, you've never seen a uh, person with a helmet on before? Alfonso says plenty of peacocks around the neighborhood. So they're in the residential areas, not necessarily over here. Got it. I haven't seen a iguana here yet though in Coconut Grove. I'm sure we'll find one. Jeff McDonald with a $9.99. Really appreciate it. Jeff says thanks again for visiting Clearwater Beach. Yeah, I'll make a visit, another visit over there when I have some time. I'd definitely like to visit the Gulf, Co uh, Gulf Coast of Florida again. Storm's asking if there's any zoos in Miami. You know, that's a good question. I didn't really um, look it up. Perhaps the Miami Beach area has a zoo, but I'm not exactly sure. It's a good amount of squirrels in this park. They should name this Squirrel Park, not Peacock Park. I see more squirrels than any other animal. Oh, Bob, thanks for that info. There is a uh, zoo here in Miami. 
fifth largest in the United States. That's a big zoo. I'm going to need to basketball court there's a football slash soccer field in front of me Ben There's one in the uh, front of it. How's my connection now? Is it better? All right, looks like we're back. Uh, Connie Kimber, thank you so much for $25. Appreciate it, Connie. Thank you for the support. So this area to the left and behind me, it looks like there's a small group of homeless over there. It's sad to see that uh, homeless have to camp out here in the park. Damaris says the Tampa Aquarium is nice. I've heard that aquarium is really nice too. EM says it doesn't seem like there's many homeless in Florida compared to other states like Oregon and California. Yeah, comparative to the population, Florida doesn't really have as many homeless as the other states that you mentioned. But they're still around and it's still an issue. I don't think it's possible for a municipality to have a zero homeless population, but whatever attempts they make towards solving the issue, it helps. Fancy hotel.
and we're back to the Coco Walk area. I may have to um, head over towards a residential area just to check it out. Maybe we'll find a peacock in the meantime. Alfonso, you wanted me to go that way? Yeah, there's more to see over there, right? going on at the sandbar grill. We went here already. <laughs> I think they're doing some tree pruning up there. Yes, they're hanging stuff up. Cafe Cubano. The Grove MIA. It's kind of cool. Nice little courtyard. And then over here is a uh, gelateria. Kono's gelato is happiness. I'm not sure if their entire um, gelateria is vegan, but they are marketing themselves as vegan here, or at least they have some vegan flavors.
Andy guy asked if they if I've seen Cubans and how they trim palm trees. No, I haven't. I'd be interested in how they do it. So is this way going towards the residential area? This kind of seems like a hotel lobby the way it's set up. Hmm. Looks very inviting and clean. The Barnacle Society. Wonder what the Barnacle is. Information on uh, Google Maps here. Oh, I found it. It's a uh, volunteer nonprofit citizen support organization. Support for the pr preservation and maintenance of the Barnacle Historic State Park. It's a former Victorian estate, five acre bayfront park. Cecilia Wilson, historic and beautiful homes in CG along with Coral Gables. You know, that's um, one thing I have to bring up because uh, CG is the initials for both Coconut Grove and Coral Gables. So how do uh, people here differentiate between them if you're doing initials or abbreviations? Because CG can refer to either. Because often neighborhoods and names, they have shortened pronunciations, but you can't really say CG because you have to refer to which one you're talking about. But I know Coconut Grove, I've seen, I've heard people refer to it as simply the Grove before. Or you can say the Gables, I guess. The Gables and the Grove. Or well, maybe you have to do like Sea Gables or Sea Grove just to make yourself clear. Joey says some people refer to them as either the Grove or the Gables. That's what I thought. Coconut Grove Playhouse. This is a uh, former theater. typifies the flamboyant era of the 1920s. Except I don't think this is uh, occupied anymore. What's up? Hey. This is definitely worth a picture. A 
I think if I go over to the right now, we'll head over into res some residential areas, which is, which is I wanna I wanna check out. Which is what I wanna check out, I should say. I think the hot weather is getting to me. Speed limit 25, residential. I could tell we're going into a residential area. And there's some more historic sites here. Look at this. I turn onto a residential street and we encounter some more uh, historic landmarks. The EWF Stirrup House. Uh, and I think this one should come first because the sign looks like it's all molded. This was once Charles Avenue. The first black community on the South Florida mainland began here in the late 1880s when blacks primarily from the Bahamas came via Key West to work at the Peacock Inn. So look at that, huh? There was a significant black community here that settled right on Charles Avenue. And I see another historic site up there too. I think I picked the right street to walk down. The EWF Stirrup House. Look at this, huh? This guy, he built more than 100 homes for the African Americans in the region. And he believed that home ownership led people to become better citizens. What a great guy. Did a lot of good for the community. One of a few wood frame residences from the late 19th century remaining. Cecilia says the Grove is considered an old Miami neighborhood. It's the uh, oldest in Miami. That's what I was reading from Wikipedia. I'm gonna have to uh, go across the street and take a picture. What an elegant house. This one looks old too. Darren Platt, always watching my videos from England. Keep up the good work. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Still no signs of a peacock hill. Or a coconut for that matter. Marie says, late for the chat, have I been to the Barnacle House yet? Uh, I passed by the Barnacle Historic Park, but I didn't go inside. I was across the street from it.
Oh my gosh, this home looks so old. It kind of looks like it's in bad condition too, like uh, it might collapse. The Mariah Brown House. Hopefully they can restore it so it's not in a, a poor condition anymore, but. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Bob, I can imagine people sitting on the front porch too. A long time ago. But uh, it looks dangerous to enter this porch now and go inside. That, that's a peacock. I know the peacock call. Where's the peacock? It has a very distinctive call. Huh. Laurie says, you hear that sound, the stink call they make? Yup. I may not um, see a peacock, or we, we may not see them, but I definitely heard it. So there are peacocks here. I think I just saw something with big feathers just fly up to the roof of that home there. Laurie says it's hiding. I think it is hiding from us. Yes, yeah, Cecilia, you're right. They can fly. A lot of people have this misconception thinking that chickens and peacocks can't fly, but they absolutely can.
I am keeping an eye out for a peacock. I just heard another peacock call up ahead. I don't know if you heard it. It's a very distinctive call. Audi says it sounds like a cat. <laughs> it does. I know what it sounds like because I've heard the peacock call in a zoo before. Oh, Jeff, uh, you're moving to Clearwater Beach. You were there last March and I was there after I left. You love the videos. Thank you. So, uh, walk around here. Don't know where it could possibly be. Peacock spotted. Right there. It's a male peacock, too. Just a random peacock wandering around the neighborhood. Nothing to see here, right? Peacock and a pea hen. Just grazing in the field here. Not only did we find a peacock, but we found a peahen. Both types of peafowl. Rover Manfred with five euro. Thank you, Rover. Appreciate the support. Rover um, watching from Austria there. And Miss Stephens, how can you tell the male from the female? The male has a blue coat and also the beautiful feathers when it opens up the back. The, uh, the female is more plain.
Look what I found in Coconut Grove. A peahen and a peacock just randomly grazing around the neighborhood here. I didn't think I'll ever find a uh, peacock here in South Florida, but here they are just happily grazing away at this vacant lot. Ain't that something? Flowing Happy with $10. Thank you for your walk. Thank you, Flowing Happy. Appreciate it so much. There's also a squirrel looking at the peacock too. It's kind of like National Geographic. Maybe I'll try getting closer to it. If it, if it detects that I'm like approaching it and wants to run away, then I'll back off. Because I don't want to disturb nature. I think there's a good distance. It's so gorgeous just to see these beautiful birds here roaming around in South Florida. Well, uh, this was so cool to find. There's a nest there, maybe. Strange how I'm getting some buffering now. Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to end my live stream here since I'm starting to buffer a little bit. Maybe that's uh, the world's way of telling me that I've overstayed my live streaming. <laughs> but I'll let these peacocks do what they do. I'll walk back to my scooter, maybe I'll do another video walking around of the grove specifically before I start heading back. But um, yeah, I want to thank all of you for coming out today. It was nice to explore Coconut Grove. Thanks for tuning in, smash the like button, 
I'll see you next time. Bye.